guys, it's Ryan here from the London Craftsman again. Uh, sorry it's been so long since my last video, but I've been busy, got the joinery shop on the go. And so today I wanted you to see um, an idea I came up with. Basically, I've got my two bikes, you know, these two which are my toys, <laughs> and I want to cover them, but I also want them to be seen, so I don't want to just put a tarpaulin or a bike cover over them, because, you know, I just want them to be on show and look nice in the garden. Um, as you can see, you've got a bit of a roof above me already. And so I've got a nice little triangle space here, which I'm trying to use. Obviously we've got this shed door here, which I don't really want to cover up. So if I build something in this space to cover them, I've still got to look through to see the bikes and I still need to access that door. So I've come up with a prototype and um, the idea is to build a box that goes over, that just slips over each individual one and covers them so the box will be have a front panel at the front with glass so you can see through it and it will have um, it will be on wheels so you can push it in and out and uh, effectively just cover the bikes. Once the box is on top or over the bikes then I can just put a dehumidifier in there, keep the moisture out, maybe put a little heater in there, put some LED lights to show them off. So this is one of the boxes, as you can see it's on wheels open at the back. It's got um, seals that go up against the back. So this is only a prototype, you know, so I've used OSB because I had some in the workshop and I had some wheels left over and some seals left over from another job. So all this is just a prototype to see what the next version is going to be and see if it even, it even works. So as you can see on the inside, these wheels, I've put them on little blocks here. You know, obviously they need to, this box needs to slip past the bike wheel, so I've made that as small as possible and only use tiny little piano caster wheels. It doesn't sound great when you're pushing in and out, so I may change the caster wheels, but I, I plan the height of those wheels, so I've got a seal under here. You might just be able to see it, there's a seal so no dust can get underneath, but it can still slide. And let me turn it, push it face So, you know, a simple one man job. Just literally slides over the bike like that. It's got seals up against the back, so it seals up against the wall, um, and seals on the bottom, and that is literally it. So the only thing I really need to explain is this front panel. At the moment, it's got no glass or perspex. If you can see, I put a little rebate on the inside. So I've used 18 mil construction OSB, everything and I've done a 12 by 10 rebate for glass to go in there so once the glass is set in it'll be nice and sealed. I can then just pull a plug so I've got a plug socket on that side I can just pull an um, extension lead or something like that through and have a dehumidifier in each of the boxes. To beef it up, I mean obviously it's 18 mil and I don't want to use anything like 3 by 2s or 4 by 2s because I've designed this to be as small as possible fit within the space, you know, not get in the way of my doors and not to look too big. So if I use three by twos as the framework before I made this, it'd be big and chunky. It still needs to slide over the bike. Um, so what I've done is there is a baton at the back here, a two by one baton, and there's a baton at the back here. So maybe you want to show. Very simple, just a baton here, you know, a two by one, just to give this a bit of strength. And as you can see underneath here, there's a baton that runs along to give this a bit more strength, otherwise it would sag a bit more. You'd probably use something bigger for this one, but again, you'd have to make the box taller to slide over the bike. And I've designed it so I have to fold my mirrors in on the bike to be able to get this box in, yeah. which works perfectly. Another way is put a paddock stand on your bike, stand it up, and then you might be able to get the bike closer to the wall and make this box uh, more narrow. I'll show you the other box now. So yeah, as you can see the two boxes here, this one was the same, exactly the same as what I just showed you and I've created a little bit of a gap so you know, a bit of space to get the bikes in and out and to simply get the bike out, all you need to do is pull it out, you left a little bit of space here, you know, I haven't got the biggest garden in the world over here but I'm going to get my bike out on the outside the gates. 
as you can see, my roof area here. As you can see, I was limited by how much roof space I had. This corner does get a little bit wet because I haven't got part of the roof. You know, as you can see, it tapers back. So all I would say is you can use different materials such as WBP ply, so that's water waterproof ply, or you can use marine ply. Or you can use, um, or you can clad it maybe with some timber, um, feather edge timber boards and maybe put some felt on the top. If you're using the ply version, make sure you use waterproof paint or a lacquer. These bits of OSB, this OSB once it does get wet it does expand, but it does keep its strength. So, you know, like I said, these are prototypes and um, yeah, this is really it. I mean, hope you found it useful. If you've got any questions or any ideas to make this, this better, feel free to give me a shout and ask me a few questions. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and more videos to come soon. Cheers guys, bye bye.